What's going on everybody? It's your Flag Tech Guy Mark and today we're going to be talking about two devices here, the 2019 iPad and the Pixel Slate. Now these devices are pretty cheap. The iPad starting around $300 depending where you look and the Slate around $400 to $500 again depending where you look. But they're very unique in their own ways and I like both of them. But what one is going to be right for you? Well, if you want a more in-depth review of these two devices, click down on the links in the description, or I'll put them up here as well so you can go look at those videos. Other than that, let's dive in. So if we start with the iPad, it has a 10.2 inch LCD display, 2160 by 1620 resolution. Now those are some great specs and you're really gonna enjoy watching content on this device, but that's not really what it's meant for. So we'll talk about that more in a minute, but let's just say that you will enjoy watching content on the display. Now one thing Apple had trouble with was their OS for iPads and they really stepped up their game when they released iPad OS and I really enjoy doing it whether multitasking, just browsing the web. I can now get a desktop browser from Chrome, from Safari, so you're going to enjoy those new perks and those new features and it's not something that wasn't present on say a Chrome tablet like this Pixel Slate which we'll talk about in a minute, but iPad OS does a great job of multitasking and bringing it to a more desktop like device. So with that being said, what kind of processor and RAM management can the iPad do? Well, the iPad has an A10 Fusion chip, which will pretty much be able to handle anything you throw at it, but it only has three gigabytes of RAM. So it's lacking in that department. Multitasking may get a little fringy when you open up a bunch of apps and you're trying to use a bunch at once, or you have a lot of Chrome uh, browsers open at once so it's not going to be the best if you're trying to really really use it extensively but if you just use it for a couple things multitask here and there you're going to be completely fine using this because Apple does a great job with their software on managing RAM. Another thing that I think I love the most about the iPad is how light it is and how comfortable it is to hold in your hand move around with walk with somewhere uh, just do your everyday activities with this iPad. It's so light and that's the first thing I noticed when I took it out of the box and I really, really like that. When I'm laying down trying to watch videos or play games or just surf the web, it's so comfortable to hold in your hand. Maybe just throw it in a bag, pull it out real quick and get stuff done. Now that's a big, big difference with the Slate and we'll talk about that in a minute, but just remember, when you get this device, it is going to be so light, it's going to feel so good in your hand that it's never going to make you want to put the device down. So just remember that when we're talking about the Slate. Now let's dive into this Pixel Slate. It's got a 12.3 inch LCD display and 3000 by 2000 resolution. So this device is definitely meant for watching content on, very much contrary to the iPad and my beliefs. So if I'm going to pick a device to just watch content on and that's it, I'm definitely going to have to pick the Pixel Slate here. But if I want a device that's going to be comfortable when I'm watching the content, that's where things get iffy. The Pixel Slate is pretty big and compared to the iPad, you can definitely tell that it is bigger. And one thing is how much heavier it is. So it's not as comfortable to hold in your hand as I said the iPad was before. It's something that I definitely get frustrated with when I'm using this as a tablet. And don't get me wrong, I love this Pixel Slate. I use it as my daily driver, but I use it with the keyboard. When it comes off the keyboard, it's just something that I don't really enjoy using as a tablet, but I will because it's decent enough. I have the i5 version, so anything I throw at in tablet mode, it's gonna be able to handle. and. You don't throw much besides opening a bunch of Chrome browsers and watching or streaming content like most of us do on our tablets. So the one thing that this is going to have a problem with though is the RAM management and it only has 8 gigabytes of RAM but everybody knows Chrome takes up a lot of that RAM and when you start running applications that aren't meant to be run on Chrome OS you start to run into problems and there are times where the um, device would just crash on me and I wouldn't know why but then when I go back and reboot it I'll see that there are many tabs open, there's applications running that the uh, Chrome OS system may not be used to running so those are some problems I run into when I am using this device but still it doesn't hold me back from using it as a tablet because 
Many of us don't use it as a tablet in that way. We'll use it as a desktop, a laptop in that way, but when it comes to tablet, we really just want to surf the web, look up videos here and there, and just try and get small things done. I definitely get through a full day running intensive apps and taking notes in class, looking up things, watching YouTube, so I don't have a problem with battery life with either of these devices, so I wouldn't be too sure that you will. But like I said before, with that bigger battery comes more weight and more uh, uncomfortable the device is to hold in your hand, carry around, and just do your small tasks that you maybe want to get done at home or uh, wherever you may be trying to just surf the web, watch videos, like I said, that's why we all want a tablet is for those small things, not for the intensive apps or intensive note-taking games that we may be playing. If I were to tell you to pick one device right now, I would probably say take the iPad because not only is it cheaper, but it gives you just as much as that Pixel Slate does and it's probably going to be more comfortable for you to use as a tablet than that Slate is. Now, if we were talking about getting an attachment keyboard for each of these devices and then using it as a maybe a daily driver say, I would say take the slate all day because as a daily driver, as a laptop in this tablet world, it would be a great device to use. And that's what I personally do with it. I don't use it as a tablet. I use it strictly as a desktop laptop type feel and it works perfect for me. But we're talking about tablet here and iPad, they run the tablet game and they're still making great tablets that nobody has been able to compete with so far. So if you need a tablet, pick up that iPad because it's just gonna be the better buy. It's cheaper, it's more comfortable to hold, it's easier to get tasks done with when you're just sitting at home relaxing trying to do your thing. So guys, that's it for me and I hope you guys enjoy it. Like, subscribe if you're new. Other than that, stay safe, wash your hands. It's your fly tech guy, Mark, and I'll see you guys in the next one.